Yo, today we are gonna talk about inter-blockchain communication, also called IBC, and in layman terms, how to send assets from one blockchain to another. In this example, we will use NFTs from WAX to Ethereum. Basically very simple and how you can send them back. And this is not as hard to understand as you might think, it's actually very simple. So we have two blockchains, we have WAX and we have Ethereum. Um, and let, let me just draw here, we have uh, WAX and then we have Ethereum. My skills on drawing is awesome. Here we have ETH. So we have what, two blockchains and we want to be able to send an asset from this blockchain to this blockchain. And how this is done is that we need two smart contracts. We need one smart contract on each chain. So here we have a smart contract and here we have a smart contract. So far, this is very simple. Uh, the smart contract needs a way to communicate with each other because uh, data systems are stupid. They cannot communicate with each other. They can no often only do one thing and they can communicate with their own system, nothing else. Uh, so you need something in between and usually you have some kind of oracle or script or whatever, something run by another entity, something that can actually read what's happening on smart contract one and on smart contract two. So here we have the oracle and this is what Chainlink is by the way. So Chainlink is the way to communicate between different chains. So uh, if we want to move a token from, let's use this uh, teal or light blue. We want to send this asset, we have this asset here and we want to send it to Ethereum. So it want to go here. What we need to do is we need to send it to the smart contract. In the smart contract, we have this notice in the memo. When we send on WAX, we have this memo. So on the memo, you will give some details depending on how the contract is built. You will probably just provide an Ethereum address, perhaps some other memo as well. So we add the Ethereum address in the memo. We send that item to the, the smart contract. And when it's sent to the smart contract, this Oracle will actually uh, read it. So this Oracle has a, a feed that is coming from here and it says, whoa, the smart contract got an asset, it's verified, this is in the contract, it's, uh, it has reached the irreversible, ir irreversible state, so we know that it is here. It can send a notice to this smart contract. It's now time to issue this and send it out. So it sends it out to the Ethereum address that was mentioned in the memo. That's how simple it is. And if we want to send it, send it back and wait, okay, one step before. This smart contract, the one on Ethereum, this one actually mints a new asset that is sent out. This, the con this item in this smart contract on WAX is still held in that contract. It's locked there and it cannot be moved because the new asset on Ethereum is created, minted here, sent out to the Ethereum address. When the Ethereum address has traded it or held it or want to trade it on WAX again, it simply just sends it back to this smart contract with the name of the account that it wants to send it to on WAX. So it doesn't have to be the same. When that happens, when it says, okay, we have this, uh, it's done, then it's uh, actually, we have this uh, Oracle that says, okay, we have this information. We have received the asset. It's time to actually send a notice to this smart contract. And this smart contract says, oh, okay, this is nice. We now have it. It's burned. It's burned on this chain. We can verify that it's burned. And then we got this memo with the account name and we send it out to the account name that is in the memo. This is how simple it is. You can draw it in these few stages. All you need is smart contract on both chains and a trusted Oracle in between. If this Oracle dies, we have no way to communicate between the smart contracts. However, a new Oracle could be made and allowed in this smart contract to work. We just need it to have the permission to issue and that could be done by anyway. On WAX, we have these 21 guilds. They could be running an Oracle service like we do right now. We update the USD uh, value on the WAX blockchain. This could be done in many different ways. But if we just back down, 
this is very simple all you need to have are these few things you need blockchain a blockchain b and you need a way to send it to one smart contract and send it out from the other smart contract and you need a way to communicate between this smart contract and with that you use something called an oracle which basically just reads the information that happens on one chain and is able to send information to the other chain so that can it, the action can happen that's how blockchain communication works this is how you can transfer assets between ethereum and wax so if that if we go reverse if the asset was existing on ethereum from the start you send it here then it's locked in this smart contract it is issued a new one on wax after this communication and it's sent out to this contract the, this account and when they don't want it on wax anymore because Ethereum expensive to trade an asset you send it once then you can trade it on wax all these times you can uh, Send it between accounts here and you can send it how many times you want But someone wants to take it back to Ethereum. So they send it to the smart contract It's burned here and it's sent back to an account on Ethereum or an address in this case So this is inter blockchain communication very easy very simple explanation of how it works if you have any questions if you want me to go deeper into anything of this just comment below and i can answer your question if you like this kind of content like share subscribe uh, do whatever you want with the content really uh, thanks for watching and hope you have a good day